In case you have not heard, tonight is the final edition of the best show in cable news. And I have to tell you why. Taylor Swift and I are dating, and I'm joining her on tour because we're in love. Meanwhile, do you like smoking legal pot? The feds say you can't have a legal gun. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, AKA the ATF, and it should be E, issuing a notice just one day after Minnesota legalized recreational weed this week. Their message? No guns for marijuana users. In a statement, they said, quote, until marijuana is legalized federally, firearms owners and possessors should be mindful that it remains federally illegal to mix marijuana with firearms and ammunition. Big government strikes yet again. Never mind that potheads tend to be kind of mellow, bro. Uh, when can we abolish the ATF for trying to squash our Second Amendment rights? Read the Constitution, fellas. You ladies, too, over there. Joining me now, 2020 Libertarian Vice Presidential Candidate and Chair of YouAreThePower.net. I will see him at Freedom Fest next month in Memphis. Spike Cohen is back. Welcome back, Spike. Thank you for having me. I wish you and Taylor time. all the best on your Chinese rocket. Yeah. And uh, you it's are a, a dear deal. friend, and I'm, I'm happy, to, happy to be here. I, I hate that it's your last show, but I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm delighted you're here. I think the world of you and uh, Greg Gutfeld today asked me, you know, who is, who is going to miss being on your show most? And I was like, God, Bryce Scott Horton and Spike Cohen. Um, but yeah. <laughs> they will miss it because we talk about these issues that otherwise yep. would go under the radar on a lot of media outlets. And, Absolutely. you know, people may think, well, potheads shouldn't have guns. Uh, but I think there are a lot of people doing a lot of things that have guns. So why not people who are using cannabis legally? Absolutely. And here's the thing. Let's be very clear about this. This is blatantly unconstitutional, both parts of it. The Second Amendment clearly says the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And the Tenth Amendment says that unless a power is explicitly given to the federal government, it is to be left to the states or the people. And there is nothing in the Constitution about cannabis or any other substance. So very clearly, both of these measures, both the, the federal ban on, uh, on cannabis and the federal ban on cannabis users uh, having guns are are blatantly unconstitutional and should be struck down as such, as should the ATF. Should people in other states be worried? You know, this, this is very new territory in Minnesota, but there are other recreational states where I'm sure the ATF would love to dig in and start dictating. Uh, they should be worried, uh, but they should also be pushing for their state governments to do with that gun ban the exact same thing that they did with the uh, cannabis ban, which is to nullify it at the state level. Cannabis is still every bit as illegal now as it has been for the past uh, 80 or 90 years, but in, me in the ma where the majority of Americans live now, in what is it, 23 states now, uh, it is now it, it is now legal in those states because they nullified bad federal policy. They can do the exact same thing with the federal prohibition on gun ownership for uh, people that use cannabis or any other drug for that matter. Yeah, I and mean, they, they, they could they can do the same thing for people who take antidepressants or people yep. who take Lunesta or any other sleep aid. You know, you you could make an argument yep. for just about any thing, but it doesn't say that in the Second Amendment, does it? Does the, I mean, you said you can't have a gun if you like to party. Is that is that in there, Spike? No, there is not. I checked. I double checked. I even looked at the entire code of Iowa, which is behind me right now, nice and again. nowhere in it did it say anything about using cannabis, uh, having any kind of prohibition on anything. It doesn't even mention cannabis uh, in the Constitution or any other sub, uh, uh, intoxicating substance for that matter. Um, now, there is a very interesting wrinkle here because uh, of all people, Hunter Biden might put an end to this because we just found out earlier today that his prosecutors are going to argue in court that he shouldn't be prosecuted for owning a firearm while being a drug user because the Second Amendment protects him. <laughs> uh, that is great. So we will see if there is constitutional precedence there and if cracked out Hunter Biden in his underwears will become a libertarian poster boy. Maybe he can get some don't yes. tread on me undies because he needs to wear yes. some sometimes. Poetic justice is real, yes. <laughs> it really is. Uh, Spike, thank you for everything. I will continue to talk thank with you. you in various mediums, and I will see you at Freedom Fest. Thanks again, my friend. Thank you. Tasha and I love you. I will see you soon. You are the best, and she's amazing. God bless you both. Thank you.